Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 21st, so we're still very much in the full moon, like, well, <laughs> while I'm recording this, we are, like, coming into the full moon as we speak. It's, like, right now happening, so it's, like, what time is it? It is 9.25 p.m. Eastern Time on the night of the full moon. I think it comes in at like 9.42. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely strong energy. What do we got for, you know, the next 24 hours or whatnot? What do we got? We're gonna, yes, we're going to start with one of these for an overall energy and see what comes up. Definitely very intense. Um, big, big, big changes in relationships going on. Um... very interesting what do we got dear God angels spirits and universe what kind of message do we have for today the 21st <laughs> oh it's it's a beautiful card it really is some of you are not going to like it because it's hard it's really hard to do but in all reality when you do this, when all reality, it brings you to something better. It really brings you something better. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. It is a time to release. That is what full moons are. New moons are for setting intentions. Full moons are for releasing and endings. Okay? They're completions. So it is a time to release 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 anything or any person that no longer serves you it's time it's time holding on to it is just going to continue to steal your energy and keep you stuck it's going to cause anxiety and despair What you are waiting for is coming. It's coming. All in good time. What do we have for the 21st? It's time to let go with this full moon. Let it go. We're going to get three of these, then we're going to use that other deck right there. What do we got for the 21st? Indecision. The time is now to make a decision. Right now. Do you want to keep staying where you're at? Do you want to keep living this same life? Are you ready for better things? The time is now to make a decision in regards to, you know, a positive future. Oh, God. Doesn't get any better than that. You've got to walk away. You've got to walk away. It's time to walk away and close a chapter in your life. The time is now to turn your back on anything that doesn't serve you. Self-love. You deserve love. Love yourself enough to move on, to clear your energy, and to walk away from whoever it is that is keeping you stuck.
It's time. It's time to heal your heart. It's time to open up your heart chakra again, and it's time to be loved. It is. It's funny. Walk away from your ex. Walk away from the one that is keeping you stuck. I mean, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but... Many of you are undecided as to whether you really want to do that or not, right? You're undecided. It's time to be happy again. It is. It's time to be happy again. There's nothing left to prove. It's time to let go of your ego and pride. It's time to stop fighting battles you don't need to fight. It's time. It's time to come out of this time period of recuperation. It's time to live again. It is time. Oh boy. Oh boy, yes. We have a golden opportunity waiting here. The Ace of Pentacles. We have a new opportunity waiting for you to take it. Right? We have a new beginning. A new solid opportunity for something abundant. Something that you can really grab onto. It's beautiful. But you need to let go of the bitterness. You need to let go of the resent. You need to let go of the anger. And you need to open your heart. There's no joke. you got to open your heart. Don't let bitterness and resent and anger hold you back from accepting a huge or, or seeing a huge opportunity. Somebody has a huge opportunity that could make them feel alive again, could make them very happy if they could just be logical, be optimistic, and allow somebody to love them. Let somebody love you. Yeah, somebody may feel like they're a victim. Somebody may have victim, a victim of a victim of this circumstance. Somebody's not mastering their emotions. We have the key, Queen of Swords right next to the Queen of Cups, both reversed. We have a person here that may have a choice between two people, you know, and they may feel like they don't know what to do. They don't know what, which, which direction their heart, you know, says to go in. This, it's definitely a very emotional time where somebody is not mastering, mastering their emotions like they need to be. It's like their heart is saying, you know, it's time. It's time for you to be loved. You know, give me some love. Give me some love. Give me some love. But the resent of the past is holding them back. There's another opportunity <clears throat> with the Five of Cups reversed. And I think somebody does know it. I think somebody realizes that there's another opportunity for love. It's time to stop crying over the loss. And realize that you have a big opportunity waiting for you. It, 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 it's the truth. Okay? I feel as though somebody is trying to protect themselves from getting hurt again, right? Because of the ex, because of the last person that really broke their heart. Somebody is trying to protect themselves. It's got, got their guard up. You know, and it's like now there's something right in front of you. It's right in sight. And you have an opportunity to, you know, move forward. But there's fear of commitment, there's fear of letting your guard down, you know, there's fear of, of, I'm 
stepping into the unknown. There's fear of allowing yourself to be happy again. It's like once I get happy, it'll just be ripped away. There's an opportunity for happiness here. There is. We have a big, huge opportunity. But there's lack of communication. There's lack of movement because somebody is, it's like they're, they're observing, they're watching. But they don't have the ability to step up to the plate, if, if you can understand what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, it's time. It's time to be happy again. But there's so much indecision here. There's so much going back and forth. It's, it's time to wake up. This is a wake-up call. So I feel like somebody may be getting an epiphany. Maybe they get some go through some sort of awakening. Um, all of a sudden, they realize the truth. It's time. It's time for me to be happy again. This could happen. I mean, somebody may realize that there's, there's no need to hang on to a discontent situation. It's time to build a new foundation. Somebody um, may be... Suddenly seeing the truth. It's like you go to bed at night and you wake up in the morning and you got this revelation that, Poof! you know what? I I'm ready. I'm ready to be happy again. I don't have anything to prove. I don't need to stay here. I'm choosing the new path. I'm choosing the new opportunity. Yeah, I feel like somebody... is really afraid of being manipulated they're tr they're they're not not trusting they're feeling guilty somebody is feeling guilty for following their heart it looks to me like we have somebody here that it has been so wounded that at this point all they can do is sit back and observe even though they really want this offer you know it's like i i want the offer but I know that if I accept the offer, I have to completely turn my back on the past, you know. So I feel like somebody is in the process of making a judgment call or they will be making a judgment call in regards to, you know, whether they are ready to step outside of their comfort zone and live again or not. Um, if somebody is really feeling like... They need to protect themselves in a, in a huge way. I feel like somebody is needing to come back down to reality and be practical. Somebody is probably afraid. Somebody is afraid to... Um, have their expectations dashed you know they're just really afraid I see I see that there's some there's fear there's fear of being hurt again definitely I feel like there's been a lack of communication or there's been no forward movement because somebody is so afraid of hidden agendas they're so afraid of being you know going through this pain all over again you know, they really, really have their guard up. And it feels like there's an opportunity, a stable, solid opportunity, like waiting. It's just like waiting for you to take it. But somebody just doesn't have the ability to move forward because they're clinging to the memories of the past. It's like the memories of the past are haunting them. They're letting those past wounds... slowly it's like slowly I don't want to say the words like slowly kill them you know what I mean it's like slowly you know demolish them when you have the opportunity to just walk away it's time to release the burdens it's time to release the baggage it's too heavy to carry And it feels like somebody is probably in the process of making a, the, the judgment call during this full moon to really drop this and let it go. 
so that they can accept the new offer. There's a new op new beginning here. But somebody is very unbalanced. They're very undecisive. They're resisting change. It's like they're lying to themselves, deceiving themselves. You know, when when it's time, it's it's time to love yourself. You know, you love yourself enough to let go. It's like, this is like an extreme here. It's like going to extremes. It's like one minute you want the opportunity, and the next minute you can't walk away. Um, oh, somebody is making a poor decision. Somebody is making a poor decision to not allow peace and harmony back into their life. There's an opportunity to bring balance back to your life. <laughs> If you could adapt to the new circumstances that you have been put into. So I really feel like we have a solid, stable offer here for somebody. And somebody is undecided as to whether they want to take it because the, the ex or the past is still holding them back. And somebody is in is probably going to get some sort of epiphany that it is time to release because the judgment card is about release. It is. You think about judgment day. It's you go up there and you release. You do, and then you're forgiven. So I feel like it's a, it's a time of release. It's a, it's a time of of absolution. So I really feel like somebody is about to see the truth and it's time to live again you know it's time for me to live again um, somebody has been lacking courage to move forward and maybe it's time to let your friends help you. Maybe it's time to date again. Maybe it's time to get out there and have some fun. You know, maybe it's time to celebrate your life. I feel as though somebody is being called to have blind faith and take a less traditional approach. Somebody hasn't been believing in themselves. They haven't been um, listening to their inner guide. I think that, that somebody here has been holding, obviously, holding on to a past commitment or a past marriage that is now dissolved. And it's time to adapt and be practical. And open your heart again. So I feel like that's what's going on here. I think that somebody is making a decision to release. And perhaps focus on a new opportunity. I mean, with the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups reversed. Both of them are rever reversed right here. These, This is seeing that, believing and knowing that it's time to be happy. I have another opportunity here. You know, and this is realizing. So somebody may be finally realizing, okay, it's time. It's time to release. Because all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's a, a golden opportunity that you have been waiting for right in front of you. So I really feel like there's there's a new opportunity here that... Somebody is thinking about accepting. They're thinking about accepting the new opportunity, but all knowing that when they do, you know, the choice is made, right? The decision is made. So, um, let's 
three of pentacles reversed. There's been so much lack of harmony. It's like there's been a lack of energy and amb ambition, lack of movement with the eight of wands and lack of communication, lack of of wanting to work with anybody because of fear. Maybe even fear of getting in another commitment just to get hurt again. I mean, that's truly the case. Um, but <laughs> the devil, of course. Don't let fear hold you back because fear is brought on by the devil. The devil instills fear to keep people stuck in unhealthy situations. So it's time to face your demons. It's time to face your fears and break free from this control. It's time to move forward. It's time to master your emotions and go to that better place that you deserve, that your heart deserves. So I really feel like today is a day of somebody waking up and realizing that it's time to live again. And perhaps this person decides to take back control Because they, they think that they deserve. They know that they deserve so much more. I mean, somebody has been hanging on to a one-sided situation. Things have been so chaotic and turned upside down. Things have been crazy. They have. So much disharmony and lack of peace here. It's time to bring peace back. It's time to heal. It's time to allow. It's time to forgive. And it's time to move on. I feel like today is a day of somebody choosing, making that choice. That it's time. It's time to come out of hiding and grab this opportunity. So I don't know who this is for, but somebody has a, a big, huge opportunity. And I think they know it. They see it. But letting go of the guilt and letting go of the fear and letting go of the resentment and the bitterness and, 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 and allowing somebody into your heart and letting your guard down you know, and trusting the universe and believing in the plan is, is really hard. So I feel like somebody is probably perhaps going to give up putting in effort into a unhealthy situation. Somebody's been holding on to an unhealthy situation where there was no reciprocation and it's like there's no success there and it feels like it's somebody is realizing. I think somebody is realizing it's time. It's time to choose another path. I think the universe has brought this new opportunity into your life and it's just it's just like it's too good to be true. But fear is in the way of accepting it. Somebody has been sabotaging their own happiness. They have with that devil. That's sabotage. 
it's like now i think all of a sudden now it's like they see the truth they wake up it's like all of a sudden they boom it's like they wake up i got this big huge opportunity you know guilt yes this is the problem remember i, I think i mentioned that earlier if not i was thinking it I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Somebody has been holding on to guilt. Let it go. You got a big, huge opportunity waiting for you. There's no need to stay in an unharmonious, unbalanced situation where there's no reciprocation when you have an opportunity that is so big waiting for you to take it. So there could be some sort of truth or communication even with this judgment card that is delivered. Some sort of truth is revealed. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we should get one more card. One more card. Actually, I'm going to use a different deck. Hopefully the camera's not going to die. My batteries have... I need a new camera and new batteries. They have been last. Of course, it's Mercury Retrograde. Anyway, it's a day of release. And a new beginning. Because this is a big new beginning. Somebody has manifested something huge. And this is something that could be solid. This is something that could last. All they got to do is take the opportunity. So somebody is in the process of making a decision. Do I want this or not? Will they take it or not? I don't know. This is a wake-up call. So somebody may, may, may take it. They may. They may all of a sudden get this epiphany that I'm taking it. I'm letting this pass go. I'm taking this opportunity. Um... Dream a beautiful dream. Dream a beautiful dream. That is beautiful, isn't it? The urge to create is the same within you as it is for the universal creator. It, is, it also has the same magical ability to draw harmony into being and to find beautiful order in chaos. This includes bringing harmony and the perfect balance of well-being into your body, mind, and emotions. This is also the part of you that wants to dream of beauty and bring it to life in, many, in as many ways as possible. In how you eat, dress, look, behave, make love, create, art, Relate to the, your community, write your poetry by moonlight, or bathe by candlelight. If you have come to believe that your love of beauty is superficial rather than a genuine expression of your heart's appreciation of symmetry, harmony, and grace, then you may block your ability to create harmony in your life. You may believe it to be an unworthy goal, yet beauty Genuine beauty rather than superficial glamour flows from within. It is an expression pre <laughs> It is an expression of radiance within the heart and the love of life. If you have struggled with the obsessive attitude towards beauty that tends to prevail in the human culture, then it's time you look to nature instead. Her beauty is boundless, quirky, and endlessly diverse. If you feel blocked, thwarted, or contaminated by others in your quest to bring your beautiful dreams to life, you may feel that your heart is dulled or shut down. Small-mindedness can limit beauty to a very narrow physical sense. However, you can shun the social disease of superficial, narrow definitions of beauty, thumb your nose at airbrushed images, and dare to love what is. You are meant 
to dream of beauty and to create beauty in its far more holistic and creative definition. Beauty is meant to soothe the soul, inspire thoughts of love, devotion, and appreciation, and to balance the nervous system. And it just dawned on me. Libra is ruled by Venus, Libra and Taurus. And this is a Libra full moon. And Libra is very much focused on beauty. So this does have to do with this full moon. Interesting. You, and Libra is all about balance and harmony as well. So this is about restoring harmony in your life. Because I can see things have been very unharmonious and chaotic. In order to restore harmony and balance, you have to follow your heart. And make sure that you are looking beyond the surface. I don't know where that came from. This oracle comes with a particular message for you. There is a situation in your life right now where you feel uncertain about your ability to fix or heal. You lack the inspiration to be able to imagine it differently than how it currently seems to be. You may therefore feel inhibited in your ability to bring about constructive change. However, the perfect beauty of this situation is not revealed by what you attempt to do to it or through trying to impose the right dream upon it. It is to be healed and perfected into all that it can be through the revelation of the beauty that already lies within it. This happens when we accept the existence of inner harmony in all of creation, even if it cannot be consciously observed. By expecting there to be beauty within a situation, even if it is hidden, you, be, you will be more open to seeing the healing potential, even in your challenges. Don't attempt to force the situation or issue to take the right shape. Instead, ask it to show its beauty to you. You can overcome resistance and denial by approaching it with a curious mind and open heart. So I feel like this is about restoring harmony in your life. Harmony and balance. Releasing guilt. Opening your heart. And looking beyond the surface. There's a golden opportunity here waiting for somebody to take it. But you're going to have to walk away from things that don't serve you. Release. Accept. And have gratitude for the lesson that, that there was a beautiful lesson that was learned. There was. Now it's time to be happy again. What you have waited for is available to you. But it may not be what you think it is. It may not be what you expected it to be. The first step is releasing the guilt and the pain of the past so that you can love again. So anyway, that's what I have. I feel like somebody is, in the, is going through a very emotional time with this full moon, an emotional release. They know that they have another opportunity, but grabbing it is a little scary. That's what I see. Good luck.